Hey everybody, it's Richard RM Auto Diag, and today we're having a look at a Nissan Note 1500 DCI and we've got the red engine light on. Right, okay, so we've got the vehicle plugged in. I've already identified it. We're in the engine ECU. We check for codes. And we have a P1, uh, P0100 which is an airflow sensor circuit. All right, what I have done is, a minute ago, I did try and clear this, but it didn't work. So I'll just try it quickly. Continue, so cleared. And it's straight back. There's an issue. So we'll check live data, see what we've got going on in here. All right, let's customize that. Uh, deselect. We have airflow somewhere. That's the one. Uh, I'll put it back into a view of just that one on there. Okay. So we've got zero, but we're engine off. So if we start it up. So it does show airflow there. And when you rev and it does change but it is a permanent fault code which kind of raises my suspicion straight away uh, let's have a look at global data see if this is telling us porky pies I know what these cars are like they'll substitute values so we change the vehicle yeah go away Going to OBD, so OBD should give you the truth. It's not allowed to be doctored by manufacturers. It's quite a good resource that people forget sometimes. So we'll go in there, and we'll check the live data on this. There's not too many PIDs there, but we do have airflow, and that is stuck at 184. All right, so we'll start it up again. And revving it, and we have no change. You can see the, uh, the engine speed changing uh, there. Goes up, we've got no change in airflow. So that's a good one to get caught out on. So we've got an airflow meter that isn't reading, so now we need to know whether that's the wiring to the back or it's the airflow meter itself. So we'll go into the bonnet and do a few checks. Right, okay, so we've got the plug off. Um, and so we'll just do a quick few uh, test readings. So uh, battery negative, one lead. And I'm just gonna check pin one down this side, which we have five volts on. Uh, pin four should be the same. Five volts, pin three should be 12 volts it is and pin 2 we should have nothing on because it's an earth but there we got a stable reading 10 millivolts I say when it's disconnected you can see that ghost voltage fluctuating about just from the leads so we got all them we'll do a quick bypass test test next with a, uh, a decade box and then we should be pretty well there um, I'm just probed into the number four pin and number two pin number four pin is the yellow number two pin is the green the green should be the um the ground for the sensor number four is um the airflow signal back um there's a supply 12 volts on the blue and there is the red which is the intake air temperature sensor so i've got decade box just hooked up got some ohms in it if I can try and get the wires in there at the same time as holding the camera it'll be a miracle and you can see we've got a change in resistance there on that when I just put the decade box in I did the same test on the red wire and I could get the um, air temperature sensor to change from minus 40 
and change on that you can see my max reading there was 61 so same test so I'm pretty confident uh, after having a bit of a tweak with this that we're going to need an airflow meter so we're going to get a new one on and that should be it all right okay so we're running and we've just plugged in the new airflow meter we've got no lights on whatsoever now plugged in OBD we've got no codes which is good and in the live data I got it up and deselect all uh, have the airflow back let's see we've got a reading there now when you rev it up it's all good again let's say that's just a good good one you can get caught out with the uh, the whole OBD thing uh, sometimes it's always worth looking across on there especially with emissions related data airflow EGR sometimes those values are substituted cheers for watching come along for the next one